For me, there's nothing more satisfying than watching a well-executed heist unfold on screen. Outside of the score often earned, it's a chance for directors and editors and actors and a whole crew to work their magic and make something special happen. In this week's episode, let's discuss five underrated heist movies to keep the adrenaline pumping. You suck, you jackass. Number five. So number five is The Lookout, written and directed by Scott Frank and starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I tend to mention this movie frequently when friends ask for recommendations, and the reason's simple. It's a great watch with a little bit of everything. The Lookout came out in 2007, and it's a hidden gem as far as I'm concerned. It deserves more recognition for its stellar performances, sharp writing, and deft direction. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who was at the peak of his career, delivers this nuanced portrayal of a young young man grappling with a traumatic brain injury, and it really showcased his impressive range. The supporting cast includes Jeff Daniels, Matthew Good, and Isla Fisher. They also shine in their roles. Isla Fisher, not so much. Scott Frank's script is a masterful blend of tension and character development, which happens to weave this compelling narrative that keeps you on the edge of your seat. I also think Frank's direction is impeccable. It balances the film's thrilling aspects with its emotional core, and because of that, I think the ending is perfect. This this movie will leave you satisfied with a tinge of melancholy. I think it's really worth checking out if you haven't already. Number four. Number four on this list is Logan Lucky, directed by Steven Soderbergh, and it's a delightful heist film that's funny, smart, entertaining, and very underrated. The ensemble cast is great in this, including Channing Tatum, Adam Driver, and Daniel Craig, as they deliver captivating performances that balance humor and heart. Adam Driver really steals the show in every scene he's in, and it shows why I think he's one of the better character actors working today. With its blend of comedy and suspense, the script keeps you on the edge of your seat while while making you laugh a lot. Soderbergh's direction is masterful as always, and it weaves a complex plot effortlessly, and it maintains a lighthearted tone throughout. I also think this is one of those heist movies that'll keep you guessing until the very end. I think it's an underrated gem, perfect for those who enjoy a good heist film with the side of Southern charm. Also, Daniel Craig's Southern accent isn't quite as ridiculous as those Knives Out movies in this. Number three. Number three is a movie that's not talked about quite enough. Quick Change is a 1990 gem that showcases Bill Murray's directorial debut, and it has a sharp script written by Howard Franklin. This is a comedy heist film that follows a trio of bank robbers played brilliantly by Murray, Gina Davis, and Randy Quaid as they navigate a chaotic escape from New York City. The film's humor is a delightful blend of wit, slapstick, and dark comedy. The performances are all top-notch, with Murray delivering his signature deadpan humor, and Quaid steals every scene he's in with his unpredictable antics in this. This film really showcases why the 90s were one of the best decades ever for film as the writing is clever and has engaging twists and turns. Trust me, if you're a Bill Murray stan, give this film a shot and you may just discover one of the better underrated comedies of his entire career. Number two. Number two on this list is The Bank Job, directed by Roger Donaldson and starring Jason Statham. And I happen to like Jason Statham when he isn't whisper yelling and glaring at his co-stars like he's a vampire and they're wearing garlic around their necks. I think The Bank Job is a hidden gem amongst heist films and easily one of the best movies of Jason Statham's career. He delivers a charismatic performance as Terry Leather, a small-time crook looking for a big score. Saffron Burroughs shines as Martin Love, the cunning mastermind behind this heist as well. I think the film's pacing is a masterclass in tension, and it gradually builds suspense as the robbery unfolds. The writing's a clever blend of fact and fiction that's inspired by a real-life 1971 London bank heist. It's a ridiculously entertaining, fun, and very satisfying film. You can't go wrong with this selection if you were looking for a movie in this realm. Number one. And number one is The Old Man and the Gun, written and directed by David Lowry and starring Robert Redford. And I have zero idea how this movie just came and went like a fart in the wind. Robert Redford, who is an all-time great, really shines in his role as Forrest Tucker, a charming, emphasis on the charming, audacious bank robber who carries out heists with style and grace. Sissy Spacek is terrific in this as she delivers a heartfelt performance as Jewel, the woman who captures Tucker's heart. This film's pacing really is a massive 
masterclass in tension and character development, keeping you on the edge of your seat while making you laugh out loud. David Lowry's direction, I think, is pretty impeccable as he weaves a complex plot easily and maintains this lighthearted tone throughout. This is a touching, entertaining film that's perfect for those who enjoy a fun heist movie with some boomer romance sprinkled in. I always try to keep these videos relatively short because we have shit to do outside of watching my dumbass all day. I do, however, appreciate you clicking on this video and giving it a shot. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw here. Getting close to 10,000 subscribers, so let's keep it going. Anyway, that's it for this week's list, and I'm very curious to know what some of your favorite underrated heist films are. Let's get it going in the comments. I'm very interested to hear what some of you can contribute to this list. As always, the opinions in this video are mine and mine alone, but what do I know? I'm but a mere jackass. I'll try to do better next time. Catch you later, friends. That talks too much. I'm just a jackass of all trades. Don't know shit. I'll keep on talking, acting like I'm so legit. From politics to